hello everyone i think we are live now and let's continue this ping pong game yesterday we was we were having this and now we need to move into some other part and do some stuffs we need to clean up something like some there's some bug or you not bug but there's some not good things <laughs> so let's start it and first what i have to do i have to start on my mobile so that i can read your comments okay okay so now hmm so how many people are there five people are there that's good people will join so now this uh, mouse can easily move this pedal on the left pedal and now we have the problem with the ball because we are using this image of the ball so that's why on the left side you will see we have a space it's reflecting not by touching the left pedal but very far from the left pedal so we have the collision and we have the left pedal collision we are saying that okay on this x-axis you need to take about the ball radius okay now the ball radius doesn't matter it's actually the width of the image and let's try this is it good yeah so this is the issue so maybe uh, we can say like pedal width okay I don't have to give the pedal width twice let's restart the game and okay so what if I just say it should be greater than zero I just say should be less than actually if if the ball moving to minus of x then we just redirect or re or change the direction actually so this is the issue still we have why we have this issue hmm let's first see huh so now I think we need to say it should be just the pedal width no ball radius now try okay so yes it is absolutely right I think it's uh, correct and uh, we can do something else okay so it's moving from the upper part okay so let's once again try to see if everything is correct or not so yes at the bottom it's correct oh, yeah okay so now it is good next thing is I want to have some score and how we can set up the score so a score is like how many times the ball touches the left pedal so when the ball touches the left pedal we can say this is a score we can increment the score and uh, yeah that's good so let's start this how we can start actually <laughs> so what we are going to do when we touch the left pedal then that means when there is a collision from the left pedal we are changing the x-axis direction but we also need to increment the score so it should be like a score a score plus plus okay so let's have a score variable at the top where is the top <laughs> here we have in it okay so let's define one more called score so I have declared actually declared a variable and here I will give the value for the score which is initially zero so when you say it's like zero but uh, when it's uh, colliding from the left pedal 
then we are incrementing the score that means we need to show the score somewhere so we can show outside of this canvas or we can show inside of the canvas also so how we can show inside of the canvas so just like we are drawing all of other things we need one more drawing and draw a score and this is another function I have to create at the bottom I will do and uh, yes I have all the drawing part where is the drawing part that means we are drawing lots of things so here we have a central line drawing so just below that I can say draw the score and how to draw a score we need this context initial that means begin path then close the path then context dot uh, fill style is going to be black context dot fill and then context dot fill text I think this is the <laughs> so yeah fill text is there and we need to give the string and a string I can use a template literal so tech zone says how oh, it's going nice series thank you tech zone and uh, welcome to this live so here I need to say a score is or it's like your score your score and here comes the score variable score and that's good one more time and actually we need to redraw it so we have a redraw function somewhere yeah so every time we change something we need to redraw also when we are defining the fill text we need to give where we want to show so x and y axis should also be there and now you can see we have a your score and now if I can play you can see now the score is increased to 1 let's see next what we have to do yeah score become 2 so it's easy actually and I lose <laughs> so then if I say ok score reset it now the score become 0 so this is the simple thing what next we can do on this uh, uh, ping pong game can you suggest something we can do on this game uh, which will be challenging thing or we can have fun with that any suggestion from your side so today Hemant is not there because Hemant is an active person and he always gives suggestions to me so if you have anything we can do on this ping pong to make it more challenging if you can suggest something until then I can show you that if you want to follow me you can go to twitter slash sarthak sevi this is my profile and uh, you can also support me via this patreon so there is a patreon account so patreon.com slash bitfumes because I am having uh, this as a full time so full time content creator so if you want to support me here is the patreon one more thing is there there's a github sponsorship if you don't know so there is a github sponsorship which is uh, similar to patreon actually but uh, github sponsorship is more good thing because they doesn't cut any amount from your uh, sponsor uh, patreon take five percent or five to ten percent i think it's okay for me <laughs> okay let's back okay so tech zone says uh, multiplayer using sockets oh this is super duper challenging <laughs> multiplayer how we can have a multiplayer using socket it, this means uh, one person on this browser can uh, can ha handle this left pedal and uh, another player will handle the right pedal but from his um, you can say socket 
so from the socket we can send information about loose or uh, hmm this is going to be interesting can you draw the ball above the center line above the center line i didn't get that then above the center line so above the center line can i draw i didn't get that ooh, 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 ooh. but i really like this uh, multiplayer uh, idea it's hard to implement currently but uh, we can try <laughs> let's do something and let's have some more comment from people let's see what they have in their mind what we can do with this so uh, is there if you have any idea how we can uh, which uh, technique we can use for this uh, socket thing is it like i have to use a socket.io uh, can i use that or do you have anything in your mind hmm you can implement it of course <laughs> in front of uh, can you draw the ball above the center line above the which center line this is the center line the dotted one and uh, then where i can draw pusher maybe oh but we are just using a normal javascript so I don't know pusher pro I have never used pusher just with uh, plain JavaScript let's see the documentation for it huh so how about pusher channel getting started and you need to have this one then open a connection to channel subscribe to channel listen for event on your channel hmm what about socket io socket dot io okay so for this hmm let's go to the learn part it's there yes yes it's there javascript is there okay so we need to use express on that case but with the pusher we don't have to use any express kind of thing i believe we just have triggering event from the server we don't have any server yet i don't think we can use server Hmm, I think WebSocket JavaScript. Okay, when the ball crosses the central line, the line is drawing over the ball. Okay, I got it. What you are saying. Ah, I, oh, wow then thank you for this it's really great and i didn't notice that thing and it's a very quick fix why because when we are drawing the sequence of drawing any object is the same like a uh, thing uh, we have the center line i can move the center line before the ball and now it will work yes you can see now ball is over the from above the center line got it it was nice thank you okay let's uh, i was searching something for javascript websocket hmm, let's see can we use a basic websocket system <laughs> okay, so here's the example. New WebSocket on localhost 8080. 
then socket let's try this thing seems interesting so but wherever you can try so let's have a let's have let's have a, a function and i call this function uh, web socket web socket and uh, web socket uh, demo no not demo <laughs> web socket player not player web socket <laughs> try web socket that is very simple try web socket so let's copy this and at the bottom i would say function try web socket and it was like uh, first creating the web socket so i call it socket and it's uh, localhost 8080 once again they need i believe they need server hmm yes let's try this one so what if i say admin listener open hello server what if i just run this thing okay so reload yes you can see it says there is no localhost 8080 because we don't have any server here hmm so what we need do we need to have a server i think we always need a server for websocket obviously yeah it says a websocket connection to a server okay so if there is is no server then how we can use the websocket okay so uh, tech zone i think the websocket idea is not good for implementation with the system we are having we just have a pure html uh, we can do something like uh, we have a score we have this uh, yeah one more thing i have forgot to have this like whenever we are incrementing the score we also need to speed up the ball so that after some time it will become very fast and that will be the challenging part of our game let's try this so i think the websocket idea fails so let's get back to uh, we need to get back to movement so start game move and here we are and we have a collision so whenever we have the left collision yes we are incrementing the y position but we also need to increment the y position with certain value so that the speed of ball will increase after some time so we can simply say dx plus 0.5 of one now just add one actually with the x-axis so whenever there is a collision on the left pedal it's going to increase the speed yes you can see the speed is now increased yes it's now challenging and i lose <laughs> so similarly i also want to have uh, some increment in our dy and which will be 0.3 i'm incrementing this so that it will be some incrementation on the y axis also otherwise it's just like left right left right left right it should be on the y axis also and yep yeah okay so now this becoming good <laughs> oh i lose hmm so this was the nice thing so i can have uh, three here and three on the y-axis also maybe on the y-axis we can increment more less on the x-axis then it will be uh, really great to have it okay yeah now this is looking like a very in smooth incrementation in the speed of the ball so yes it is now incrementing 
with a very smoothly and since we are having an incrementation on the y axis also so it's going to be like a very good thing but now it become very bad <laughs> it's just having a, no no yes it's moving on a downward okay so this was a ping pong uh, game so one more thing and uh, i want to do let's have a single player why not and how it's going to be single player that means the single player is going to handle both of the pedal it's going to be interesting <laughs> why because once you cross once you cross the central line once you go on the right side you will be able to handle the right pedal from your mouse and once you cross once you are on the left side you will be able to handle this left pedal i think this is going to be the challenging thing okay so what's your thought on this is it good or uh, should i just do it or not this was a game i started yesterday but uh, i have to complete it now let's uh, have something here what you think let's let me just wait for your answer until then i can play <laughs> Okay, so let's start having this on the left and the right. Oh, lose. So the idea is very simple. Once we cross this line, that means the x-axis of something. But how do we know that? Uh, how do we know that the mouse is on the left and mouse is on the right? okay so what we can do where we have a mouse event we have this mouse event mouse over for the document what if i say canvas dot add event listener and i say e that means the event so when i hover over mouse then i when i have the mouse inside this canvas then only it will able to control but on that case it's not becoming a smooth controlling yeah actually it is let's try yes so we can easily do that but when i am out of the canvas i am not able to do this okay so this is good and now on the let's open console yeah uh it's closed uh system becomes slow so here we are and yeah so we can see we are changing the y direction and here i am x axis is 1070 x axis become 500 and 300 and it's out of we have a issue here okay so 220 220 is the starting point of the canvas and uh, the center of this uh, canvas is uh, somewhat 720 or now if i see the okay so you can see the client let me just do this client x let's do this thing reload and now see it's 110 approx on the left axis and then when it the mouse reaches at the center it's like uh, around 360 or 
and here comes 600 okay yes so we can say that when if e dot client x axis is greater than 100 but that means and e dot client y become like okay, there is uh, darkness in my camera okay so when it is greater than uh, greater than 100 but less than let's say 310 <laughs> then i can do this movement of the left pedal let's try this okay so yes i can handle it but if i okay so this is after 350 i believe so 350 between 100 and 350 if we have in 100 and 350 let's try this thing oh i lose so yeah on the right when i when the mouse is on the right side i'm not able to move but when i move on the right a uh, left side it i will able to move so this is good but if this is greater than 350 and uh, i don't care about the less than thing or yeah okay and then i'm going to change the right axis y value same as the client okay so once more the auto movement of this right pedal i have to stop so how we can do that whenever we are having a ball movement yep here we go we have a ball movement we are moving the right pedal also and now see i think yes and now let's go on the left side yes we can play the left head pedal we can handle the right pedal and yay <laughs> so now this is becoming again an interesting thing because just by doing this with the single mouse i can play from both side yes cool and why this speed become very slow so maybe I can see on the collision we are having a plus of Y and okay so we are changing Y let's remove the Y just have the X only and let's have three increment okay this is good okay so we have done that and this is how we can ha control the left and the right both pedal just like oops i did okay so actually there is a issue there is a bug we can say i can show you the bug see this thing yeah without pedal it's reflecting from the right side and this is because when we have the collision of the right pedal we are not detecting for the y axis we are just detecting for the left so just like we did here we have to do the same thing for the right pedal that means when the y axis uh, when this y axis of the ball is greater than canvas width minus pedal width if it is greater than no I did something wrong once again so if it is greater than okay so this is just should be right right pedal and plus pedal height okay one more time if not there then we have to say game over which is not that thing yeah 
so we need to say game over so game over is a function actually I already have somewhere so if the ball is less than zero or ball dot x is greater than canvas height minus pedal width uh, canvas width because it's x axis minus pedal width then also game over so now here and it should say game over which is not saying so from the right pedal okay this is the issue it should be 1t only not 2t okay one more time it should say game over which is not saying that game over okay why if it is x is greater than canvas if it is greater than canvas width okay so one more time reflect and see on the left side is there any game over so game over is not working totally so I think we have some issue on the game over part this condition never met because it's never going to be less than and greater greater than at the same time so we need to give the or condition instead of and condition now it will surely say game over on the right side yes game over is there and now we have reset game and finally uh, I need a button to start the game actually I don't want to auto start this game so here we have a canvas and here we can say we need a button and button should be after this uh, this what is this <laughs> this h2 and then I can give this div as a not a class I can give a style of display flex and uh, justify content center and the button is start game and when I click on this button so for that I need an ID of start and uh, let's register const const start btn button is document dot get element by ID of button uh, that means start <coughs> and let's register start button dot add event listener and which is click whenever I click I need to say start game <coughs> sorry we have this and now I'm not going to auto start the game so this start game I can totally remove and now let's see I have a very big button no I don't want that big button so I can have a div okay so <laughs> yeah it's super ugly but uh, it should start the game so start the game and yep we have the ball and I can handle on the both side and yes the in speed is increasing yep it is working fine so let's play a little bit oh I lose so I think this is a nice game we have created today completed today actually we have created it yesterday so I should finish today's live till here and tomorrow I will go and try the breakout game and what is a breakout game so breakout game I have created on my JavaScript course so JavaScript game here we are so click on games we have this breakout this is the breakout game we have to create and it's going to be interesting and oh, I lose very easily so I have to reload 
स्टार्ट इट्स ओके फाइन हेमंत वी जस्ट डिड सम फिक्सेस फॉर द टुडेज पिंग पोंग गेम बट टुमारो आई एम गोइंग टू क्रिएट दिस ब्रेकआउट गेम और मे बी इफ आई गेट द टाइम बिकॉज टुमारो इज द दिवाली सेलिब्रेशन एंड इफ यू आर नॉट फ्रॉम इंडिया देन दिवाली इज अ बिगेस्ट फेस्टिवल फ्रॉम इंडिया so we will not be able to get the time but i will try to have time for this live especially for this live so that we will not going to break our live session daily live sessions okay so for him and especially <laughs> i want to show you this thing we have created like we have this game and we have this start button and with this start button we can start the game and now the right pedal is also controlled by the mouse so if i move the mouse on the right side i can handle the right pedal and if i move to the left side the mouse if i move the mouse cursor to the left it's uh, controlling the left pedal and obviously we have a collision from the right side we also have a increment the in the speed and speed is incrementing after every collision and we have some bug there <laughs> so i don't know what kind of bug is there we can solve it later okay so this is the thing we have done today but it was not uh, so challenging uh, someone uh, tech zone challenged me that we can have a multiplayer using a web socket i tried and we think about the pusher socket io or a native web socket api of javascript but every web socket thing require a server and we are not since we are not using server uh, we will not able to create it maybe later i can do something there so okay so himan says this is better than tutorial version <laughs> yeah obviously because <coughs> here i have a time and uh, i can do anything i got the ideas from your side plus i can explore things uh, and it, that's why i really like the uh, live session i have many server oh not that server server means the node server or at least local host 8000 8083000 this kind of server <laughs> so this is the game we have created and tomorrow or maybe after day after tomorrow we will create the breakout okay so let's close these things because uh, that's done for today and one more time if you are not following me you can follow me on sarthak sevi on twitter and if you want to support me you can support me on patreon.com/bitfumes so let's close this uh, let's end this uh, live and uh, maybe later we will meet in some other videos or maybe tomorrow on this live till then bye bye